everybody, welcome back. Unboxing time. Mary's here. Hello. And I am full of delicious ramen. Uh, we're here to open up. <laughs> it's random. The September 2017. See strokes is food, baby. Comic Bento. You're the one that told me I should get the giant Naruto. You wanted me to get the bowl that had everything. Yeah, and so I, did. I was hoping it would have the actual fish. Oh yeah, they didn't have those. Anyway. <laughs> That's actually part of Naruto's name. It's yeah. Fish cakes. Yeah, but still, uh, it was delicious. Okay. If you're ever in Lexington, go to Ramen Ya. They're awesome. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, if you guys want to check, it's so random. If you guys want to check out Comic Bento, I think I get you 15% off if you use my link in the description below. It's like 25 bucks a month. You're gonna get like four awesome um, graphic novels, trade paperbacks. Generally, just one of those will usually be worth the 25 bucks. Alone. So. Yeah, and it's usually pretty awesome. Now this month's theme, I actually know. Can you believe that? What? Uh, I believe it, I may not say it exactly right though. Now that I just brag, uh, it's like creator owned. I believe is what it is. So there's probably gonna be a lot of indie books. So okay. we're probably gonna be like, we don't know what this is, but could be interesting. But that's one of the things I love about Comic Bento is it turns you on to stuff you didn't know existed, really. You, you know. Get all the tapes, sweetie. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, like it turned me on to Gwynpool. Then I started buying comics, which I've been better about lately. <laughs> Matter of fact, I kind of need to go buy. My store, I'm piling up now. Um, where I don't do the comic calls anymore. <laughs> All right, so this comes packaged in like cardboard and like plastic on the inside, so that way if it gets rained on the box or whatever, yeah, your books are still that good. That's nice. Yes, we very much appreciate that from Bento HQ. So, uh, but of course, as a mystery unboxer, it does make things a little bit trickier mm -hmm. to get started. I think we can maybe work with that. Yeah, that should be workable. Okay, there's a card. Okay, these are definitely going to be like indie books because they are. Uh, various shi sizes and shapes. All right. <laughs> well, not really shapes, but sizes. I got Scott Proc Pilgrim's Precious Little Life. Oh, dude, I'm actually really excited. I've actually really wanted to read the Scott Pilg Pilgrim, the Scott Pilgrim books. And so that's actually a great. <laughs> this already won for me. <laughs> um, I mean, let me see, just real. Oh, you, you show it off. You show it off. Then I, no, I'm excited. I'm excited enough about it. There's something I want to see. I want to open up the first couple pages and see if uh, if it's like the actual what I think it is, or if this is because I don't know. If Precious Little Life means it's a new version or a spinoff or something, or if this is actually going to be the book where uh, the movie is based. So this is 11.99 retail. Oh, dude. Yeah, I think this is actually like first part, first part. Mm. That's great. Yeah, yeah, this is because there's he's talking about Dayton Knives. Did you see the movie? Yeah, I, I saw read any of this? Do you like the movie? Yeah, the movie's okay. Okay, alright, alright. I don't have to divorce there, you yet. There's parts of it I like, and then there's parts of it that's kind of like, really? I don't have to marry you, then divorce you yet. <laughs> yeah. I love Scott Pilgrim. Because <laughs> um, I'm an Edgar, Edgar Wright, almost said Edgar Winter. Uh, it's very different. An Edgar Wright fan, and, um, you know, and I love video games, and I love punk rock, and garage rock, and all that, so that movie really spoke to me. Yeah. But anyways, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm already happy with this. Dating Knives was just problematic for me in general. Wasn't he like, how, how old was Scott though? Wasn't he like supposed to be like 19 or 20? Like weren't they just like two or three years apart? I don't, I, I don't remember. I'm, I'm not sure, but it was partly the age thing. It was partly the whole, oh. there's like, what has he done to earn this devotion from her? Well, honestly, that's supposedly the thing too, that the movie didn't have enough time to do, but my understanding is that is kind of the long arc of Scott is that he's a total D-bag in the beginning, and eventually he kind of earns a humanity. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> let's make this whole video about Scott Pilgrim. <laughs> um, okay. Headlocked, a single step. Okay, <laughs> this is an interesting cover. Ooh, kind of nice art. Oh, so it's wrestling. Okay. Yeah, and strip clubs, and wrestling. And strip clubs. No, <laughs> no, I just don't know. Uh, his name. Well, okay, sure, sure. They can look at you do it, you do it, because it's better when you do it. My name is Mike Hartman, and my dream is to become a professional wrestler. When I started this journey, I asked myself a question. How much of myself would I give to make my dream a reality? The answer, more than I ever could possibly imagined. Hmm, so, cool. I don't Sounds know. cool. Written by a, a lifelong wrestling fan and drawn by an actual wrestler. Oh, so, cool. it sounds like it might be a, a, not necessarily a bio, but right, kind something of something that, that draws from the influences. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh wow, this cover is by uh, the, the Hall of Famer, uh, Jerry the King Lawler. That's pretty cool, man. 
And it reminds Very me of one of those. Million. That's what it was. I was trying to think of what that reminds me of. And you got there. We're having one of those. Post. Yeah, we're having one of those days where her and I like. I was thinking, I wouldn't mind ramen. She's like, you wanna go to ramen? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, I wouldn't mind checking out this grocery. She's like, I was thinking about saying that. <laughs> it's a good day. I, I eat your arm. I, I won't eat your arm though, I'm too full. Oh, oh, God, what'd you do? Paper cut? Box cut. Box cut, Oh, Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna beat the shit out of this box when this thing's over. <gasps> oh, the tick. Oh, that Karma makes you feel a little better. Though. Makes you feel better, right? <laughs> I'll try not to bleed on it. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't bleed on it. Yeah. Oh, it's weird that it's not co in color. I, but I guess it wasn't really that colorful. I, I don't think it was originally in color. That's what, well, obviously, obviously not, because this looks like this is supposed to be the first. I think I may have had some of these. Yeah, I don't really remember, but this is like the first four books. Did you show the back? Because I love that cover. That's like, I think they're aping that famous Batman cover. There it goes. Dude, this one, this is already, this this is fantastic. And that's a $14 book. Yeah. You know, so already we're well over the box value. Are you okay? Is it? Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, it's not actually bleeding. It's just one of the, I mean, you guys know, like, paper cuts hurt, like, 10,000 times more than they look. Yeah. So, but at it's, least it's, it's not. It's shy of bleeding. Yeah, okay. Whew, but I'm still gonna beat the shit out of this box when we're done. No one fucks with my lady. Pardon my French, but. Come, 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 come. No, not really. <laughs> Greetings from Virgil. Orlando, Faith Beckett, and Maurer. They put his name in the paper. They took his a, lover. They left him bleeding in the ocean. They shouldn't have left him alive. A queer oh. exploitation. Queer, <laughs> queer exploitation <laughs> revenge tale. That, that's a hard one to get the mouth around. Uh, <laughs> um, um, interesting art. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna let that one go. <laughs> you guys can finish that joke in the comments. Cam. <laughs> Cam, she got it. She got to you first. Um, I will carefully try to show some imagery in here. Actually, it's nothing wrong with the imagery in here. Um, I've seen far more graphic, but it looks kind of interesting. And just because they, they use the terms queer exploitation, I'm even more curious to check it out. To check it out. I don't know why I can't do walking. Oh, jeez, Rick. All right. Oh, do you want to look? Yeah, I'm just kind of Look. Ooh, they're having sex. <gasps> Two men having sex. I am horrified. Uh... But um, I don't, don't want to look at the um, the end. But um, <laughs> the end of the book. <laughs> and, and the end. La La Land was... No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Oscar's callback. Nice. Okay. Points. Points. Is there There's one more book. This has actually got five books in it. And then we'll look at the card and then I'm going to beat the crap out of this book. I'm going to teach it to his boss and it's going to make me bleed. <laughs> Captara. Volume 1. Fear Not Tiny Alien. Fear Not Tiny Alien. That is a weird looking outfit. Wait a minute. Does he have a dog for a penis? No, I think that's a skin of something like a... Almost like a loincloth. Okay, well, Entertainment Weekly liked it. Whatever it is. Let me get my face out of the way, sorry. There we go. Let's see. When an exploratory mission goes horribly wrong, scientist Keith Kanga crash lands on Captara, a strange planet filled with muscle bound warriors and cat tanks. Yeah, I just said cat tanks. Cat tanks. Yes. Oh man, is this in the Ghibli verse? Uh, <laughs> with the help of a crew that includes a feline hunter, a nude wizard, and a wisdom spouting orb, Keith must find the rest of his crew and, and way back to Earth before it's too late. That actually sounds fantastic. Yeah, okay, so, <laughs> Did you show some more? Oh yeah, okay, you're going uh, back for it. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, I just... <laughs> the art looks interesting. It's definitely a slightly different art style than usual too, so... Yeah. Oh yeah, that sounds... This is... A... I'll be honest, I thought I was going to be a little let down with this comic bento because I wouldn't really know anything or get excited, but I'm excited about like all these books. Yeah, it's... That just sounds... Is that like an adult... Is that like a stripper version of, of Smurfette? Which one? Oh, no, that's a no. dude fish thing. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> dude looks like a lady Smurf. Um, so, no... Yeah, this is a pretty good box. Nothing else in there except this it's packaging. It's a pretty good box that I tried to get me. Yeah! Don't come in my hood and touch my lady. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably the most violent you've ever seen me. <laughs> hey, 
hey, I'm protecting your honor, my dear. Don't ever expect me to do that with real people. If there's real people, I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> so you don't think I can protect my own honor? That's why I would. Cardboard box. That, oh well, against the cardboard box. Did you want? Did you want some hits? I was just pissed. You, I, he, we'll pick him up. You beat the shit out of it some more too. We'll do it off the camera. <laughs> there we go. We don't want to give away her tactics. <laughs> and that's the only reason I'd run if it's real people, is because I know you could take on the real people, not because I'm cowardly. <laughs> I can go on the bail money anyways. That's true. <laughs> I'm the sm <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave it there. So, <coughs> so yes, this was creator owned. This was a fantastic comic bento. Um, and everything looks really cool. Next month uh, going to be Creatures Creatures of the Night. It's so how we Creatures of the Night? <laughs> Creatures of the Night. <laughs> Creatures of the Night. Dun, 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 dun. Really? You didn't get in on that with me? You, of all people, didn't get in on that with me? Wait, well, first of all, you didn't do them all. <laughs> you weren't biting! Not on camera, anyways. Let's do a talk show host. Oh, here's the card. <laughs> Hopefully I'm holding still enough for you guys to have a chance to kind of pause and read, if you'd like to. And I'll turn it around to the back side. <laughs> While Mary just laughs and starts to try and tickle. No tickle! It's not a tickle! Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, but um, yes, that was an excellent, excellent, some might even say sexcellent, <laughs> um, comic bento. So 15% off if you guys use my link that is in the description below, or just check them out, because it's a great, great service. You'll learn all kinds of cool things you didn't know about. And um, yeah, do all that. Mm -hmm. Comment away though, let us know, did you get this one? Do you wish you had? What was your favorite book? What would you read first? I might have to go with Scott Pilgrim. Although the tick. Captara. Yeah, Captara, yeah, it's, it's a tricky box. So let us know what you guys are thinking. <laughs> I'd love to hear your thoughts. Feel free to finish that joke. We didn't get a quite finish either. <laughs> uh, so comment away, let us know. Other than that, you click that thumbs up button, you can give us that good old thumb of encouragement. Just be careful for the cardboard edges. And uh, we're gonna get out of here, <laughs> go open up some more stuff. We'll see you all later.